Make sure she gets inside, Danielle, please. Thank you. You might be wondering what is going on, ladies and gentlemen. I just come out of the doctor's surgery to pick my daughter up and I saw this old lady called Margaret. And she could hardly walk. And she lived all the way by the Sheldrake from the doctor's surgery. That's nearly that's nearly that's nearly three quarters of a mile. There's no way she could she could have walked home. But she was gonna walk home anyway, and I didn't know how she would have got home. So me, I could I saw her struggling, I said, Can I give you a lift home please? But she was a bit nervous at first, but then one of the nurses come out the surgery and said that I'm alright. And I am alright. So then I drove her to the shop because she wanted to go to the shop first. So I drove her to the shop and I um waited for her. And now I've just driven her home. But my daughter, because my daughter's a girl, I've asked my daughter to walk her to her door because I don't want her to feel threatened. So basically, I've just drove her to her house now. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how she would have got here without my help. And I think if you see someone struggling, carrying a bag, an old person, you should do the right thing and help them because they haven't got anyone normally. They have got people, but they're not here at the moment. And it's really sad that they're left to struggle in the freezing cold on a wet, dark night in Jaywick. So I, I basically gave her a lift to her house and I feel like it's a really good thing to do. And I think if anyone else can copy my example, then this video will be worth making. I'm making this video to show that if someone is struggling with a bag, an old person, please help them like I just did. Amen. Shine on to all people. And I wish that more people could be as kind as me because you need to be kind to shine. So please, if you see someone struggling, please help them. Please, shine on.